Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is the Up Chanel's 48th World, where we got the family hosting with me. Okay, we're going to be talking about my favorite aunties, okay? My favorite auntie. All right, Bertha. <laughs> Bertha trying to feel or figure out who was trying to fill on her back. And they were kind of close towards her uh, behind. And it was a white guy, old black guy. He was just touching her like he was touching her aunt or grandma, something like that. But Miss uh, Bertha mistook, mistook him for want to get a feel, feel, and a feel, feel for free, honey. <laughs> Bertha said, "No, ma'am, you almost got your uh face slap, brother. Okay, brother Tucker. All right." <clears throat> they had a good laugh off of that crap right there. <laughs> Nora, Mama Joyce, they can't do nothing with Bertha. <laughs> and I used to think Bertha was the oldest one. But um, Auntie Nora is the oldest one. And I thought like, wow. And then it, it comes Bertha and then it comes Mama Joyce. But I'm telling you, if they ever thought about getting a seasoned group of people together and Foster or show off of that, child, please. Well, honey, I, I don't know. I ain't going to speak ill will or can this uh, OLG restaurant or anything to that nature. But I can tell you one thing. Kayla and Riley show sure ain't talking about taking no reins. <laughs> they, they don't even want to go there. They ain't trying to take no reins to run in no type of restaurant. Neither one of them have it in their eye shot and their field of vision. No, they don't. Want, if you said a clothing store, why, you know, uh, definitely um, <clears throat> Candy could leave uh, her daughter and um, her stepdaughter uh, tags. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then Riley may feel some kind of way, child. I don't know. Maybe Candy need to open up another business where they both can somewhat uh intermingle with one another but still having a business to run that would be a cute little thing for them to do to try to still be like sisterly love even though not they're not born from the same mother or dad <coughs> but that would be very interesting because that damn um olg and blaze stay grass front <laughs> unless and i'm speaking unless the younger two gonna come up and try to do something with that restaurant but Ace is too much of a busybody type person. He wants to be doing this, that, and the third. I can see him doing some tech stuff. Something technical. And Blaze, I, I don't know. Because <laughs> Blaze looked like, that's baby candy all the way. You thought Riley could put somebody in place. But wait till Miss Blaze grow up. She is going to be slaying people. Okay? I don't know. I can't. I don't get the vibe of what she really want to do other than eat. <clears throat> and she's going to get that strictly from her mama. Because her mama knows she likes to eat here and there and there and here. Okay? If you ain't got no food when she's hungry, she can't have turned into a bear. A bear that's ready to claw somebody. Okay? <laughs> And I ain't gonna lie, when when I'm hungry too, I'm like that as well. But we can't have my sugar drop, and we can definitely not starve me, okay? But we're gonna get on into this peach report that uh, they were filming. I guess they're fil filming for season two, maybe. Uh, it may be in the works of the OLG crew coming back. Uh, maybe showcasing some new people instead of the, the old people. To give somebody else another chance to shine on TV and see what they be able to handle 
the little reality stardom type situation. But let's get on into this. Uh, <laughs> they were uh, doing some taping, and Miss Bertha felt like, uh-uh, unless you got the money to fill on me, don't even touch me, don't even look at me, don't even come by me, okay? But if you got some money, then you could have everything around this body and in this body. <laughs> but I'll let y'all listen to it. Hold on. Boy, you like to got slapped. You know somebody was rich in that chill precious. That my precious is here. I'm talking about here. He if be young, got plenty of money, hey, he could feel everywhere. Now, no money, no feel. Oh man, I had my good laugh, but today. You can put them in your pocket. They down in there. That's a big pocket. <laughs> Boy, you like to get slapped. You know somebody was rich in that chill precious. That my precious is here. I'm talking about here. He if be young, got plenty of money. Hey, he could feel everywhere. <laughs> Now, no money, no, no fear. fear. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny how did she say If he got some money, he can feel everywhere. Oh, child, my goodness, my gracious, my auntie Bertha be coming through. Boy, that's gold right there. I think Canada missed it. Why are they trying to set up a restaurant for them? They should have set up a little comedy show to just follow them like the Golden Girls or something to that nature. Oh, that would have been something. Now, if they come out with, you know, Golden Girls, y'all know y'all heard it here first. And they need to cut me a check. But anyway, uh, yes, I thought that was kind of lighthearted. I think that was kind of funny. And I, if they just had a, I don't know, a, 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 what do you call it, a um, platform where you could just follow them and just look at their comings and goings whenever they feel like it. But Aunt Bertha, she don't like to be taped. She don't like to be filmed too long. You, you, you get on her nerves, she can start getting smoking and everything. Then she will want to slap the shit out of you. <laughs> or she will be ready to walk off set. This woman will be jetting off, okay? And she would give you that look like, don't even look at me. Don't even talk to me. I don't even want to see you. You're not in my vision, even though you're right up there by her. She's going to be like, I don't see it for you. <laughs> I don't see it for you. Now, I don't have my time. I don't take what all I can take for the day, okay? And I don't want to do no more. First of all, we got that pocketbook. Put it under her arm and strutted her ass right on out that door. Yes. That's just like my auntie. She's deceased now. God bless her name with Lily Johnson. Okay. But yes, every time I see my, my birth, she just gives me such great joy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I just want to be like near her, around her. I want to hug her. I want to just, just look at her cutting up and be having my recorder on. Because, you know, you got to get a little kiki. After the thing has settled down and died out, you still want that little key key from here and there and everywhere. Okay, it's good to laugh. It's good to laugh, even if it's at your own expense. Okay, good to laugh. It, it releases good feelings. The serotonin in your body go to your brain. Just you know, it just gives you good, good, good vibes and good thoughts. So try laughing every day. It is a good treatment. Good therapy for the soul. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. And I will see y'all on the next one.